Greetings, Geek Ventures. Greetings, YouTube. Greetings, uh, Imperial Shipyards. Uh, well, you know what? Who am I kidding? There's only like two or three views on any of my videos, so. Hey, Dino. <laughs> I, know, I know you're watching for sure, but, uh, uh, this is uh, pretty much just to, uh, kind of bring you around on some of the models that I've been working on. So th this one I've been working on off and on for quite some time already. Uh, as you can see, I finally added lights, or the impression of lights, and, uh, what is that? Oh, man. A lot of battle damage is going to go into this one, because, uh, some of my, my windows are smeared, some of the, uh, some of the details are missing, some of the decals went on a little crooked. Basically, I kind of fumbled the ball quite a bit on this one. Uh, and at this point, it's just uh, too far along to kind of just give it up. But uh, it's also uh, not a success as a model kit. Well, it's not a success as far as, you know, what I'm happy with. So uh, this is going to go somewhere, but this is not going to be prominently uh, displayed anywhere. You can see, I mean, I've got, like, a couple of mistakes here. This this whole section smeared when I picked it up by mistake. Um, the... I've been using a pen. Two pens. First one is a deco color. Where is it? And, uh, judging by the look of this, this is also available as a Sakura. Sakura? Sakura? Pen as well. Uh, it's got a felt tip. Let's see if I can get this open with one finger, and I'm not. So, it's got a fine tip, as you can see right here. And, uh, as with all paint pens, you push the tip in, as so, just to kind of release some more uh, material into the tip. And you got to watch out, because the paint also comes out right here. you got to keep a little paper towel handy, so that, um... You don't end up losing some of this paint. You could scrape whatever, you know. Uh, just got to be careful with these. The paint is, uh, I believe, lacquer-based, but does not dry as fast as a lacquer paint should. Um, maybe it was just the, uh, the surface that it was sitting on, but... Some of the windows came out a little large here on the, the side. The dorsal. Or is this the dorsal? No, this is the dorsal. But... Uh, as you can see, I'm just kind of get some details going. You can see a lot of mistakes this close, but you can see some paint run right here. That's going to be some battle damage uh, along here as well. Here as well. And uh, the idea was to put this on a base to, that would resemble the uh, the board cube. So. Bad, a little bit of battle damage will not destroy this model. Uh, another thing is, this had been sitting in my garage for about four months, five months. And in the meantime, as you can see right here, uh, one of the cats got into the box and thought this piece right here, the uh, shuttle bay doors, was really cool. So she disappeared with it somewhere in the garage, but... You know, uh, I don't know. I, mean, I may just make this little piece right here look like it's got the door slits. But anyway, so I'm at on this one of stuff. Some more windows to put in. A lot of the smaller windows need to be put in. But uh, that piece is actually in there. It's just really dark. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, well, it's in there. Trust me, it's in there. It's just dark. Uh, another piece that I've been working on is the sky. And I've added a little bit more of the battle damage on here. I'm adding some detail paint in there because I did not bother to light that part. But this is where I'm at on this guy. I need to rework a lot of the wiring inside. The main lights work. 
the lights that need to be worked on are the phaser cannons and possibly the blinkers that quit working on me when I closed up the model. But I think the blinkers I can live without, but the phaser cannons were set up on this momentary switch so that you just push it down and the uh, cannons lit up. But uh, I need to work on the power source, and there's a lot of little things that need to be that need to happen on this guy. But most of the stuff is done. I need to add some more crystal clear in these windows just to make them look a little more flush with the model. Uh, those didn't stay, or did they? No, this, those still didn't quite fill out the way I wanted them to. Oh. Have another watermark here that needs to go. Feather it out. As you can see, I have not sealed it. The power, the dust is still pretty loose on there. I'm still working on a few parts here, but um, some light leak issues here and there. <coughs> Excuse me. That's where I'm at on the impervious. Uh, not the best model in the world. Not the worst, but definitely not a couple of the best efforts that I've put out. This one has a lot of problems in it already, so uh, this already is not going into the win category. This one's going, eh, maybe. This will be on display at the NDG convention in San Antonio in June, coming up already. NDG is uh, the uh, Nerd Dork Geek convention. There's going to be a few special guests out there, but Geek Ventures are going to be one of them. And uh, I will have, be having a few models on display along with Alex Trevino of the Geek Ventures. And I think we're really primarily the only guys who do models in that group, so uh, it's going to be a two-man show. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you all a small update on some of the models that have been on my back burner. And a little more, little more later on. You guys have fun, take care, happy modeling.